Well, good morning all. Oh, that was great. Peaceful, quiet, lovely evening. I'm walking up, sun's coming up. Uh, let's show you this. And it's just throwing, casting a beautiful light and lovely colours on the hills in the background there. So, uh, a few rain clouds up on the hill, but nonetheless, what a great start to the day. We're going to tidy up and have some breakfast and uh, carry on our travel, see where the road takes us today. Um, no idea, no agenda. We've got to empty the toilet at some stage and freshen up the water, but other than that, no. We'll, uh, we'll just carry on and uh, have a look, see where we end up. See you in a bit. again well we're on our way uh, we're, our, we're part way down the road from uh, Craig, Muir, Craig Muir to uh, Fionport and it's taken us ages because we keep stopping and, and watching for buzzards and sea eagles and we haven't seen any otters yet we think one white-tailed eagle and maybe a golden eagle but not sure so we'll stop for lunch and uh, Sarah's got uh, a nice healthy brunch on the go <laughs> I've put some tomatoes up to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. But more importantly, let me just show you actually where we are. It's a place called Three Locks Viewpoint. And uh, if it's not on park for night, it bloody well should be. What a fantastic location, fairly level car park, uh, enough rooms, two or three vehicles and uh, a stunning view. Yeah, you've got a road behind you, but I can't imagine there's much traffic going over that at night. So uh, yeah, three locks viewpoint, keep an eye out for it. Oh, there's another bird of prey just soaring up there in the distance. Wow, this place is amazing, fantastic.
Wow, this place is amazing. The uh, the scenery is just breathtaking, and we're we've just taken the scenic roads on the way to Salem. Uh, we'll pull up, a little spot up there, side of the road. Uh, it's on park for night. I'll put the um, I'll put the what three words on on the video. This a nice level flat area, room for about six or seven bikes. Uh, we'll keep that in mind. Right, well that's us stop driving for the day and we've got a confession to make, uh, we're on a campsite. It's not a fancy campsite but uh, they've got toilets and showers and showers are probably more, well, certainly I could do with a shower and Sarah. Um, we're on Fidden Farm campsite at Fionport. Um, Fionport is where the, um, well, actually it's just over there, Iona. But just check out the view. So you've got Iona is the island there and the ferry takes probably 20 minutes to get across. You can't see the abbey, it's just around the corner. But not a bad view from the side door of the van. I thought we'd just come and have a little wander down to the, uh, well, around the campsite, down to the beach. But as you can see, it's a bit fresh, it's a bit windy, but certainly give us an appetite for our tea that's for sure so uh, we'll take a bit of video I'll take a few photographs for you um, but yeah it's a lovely campsite fantastic location uh, as you'll see from the pictures Good morning. Right, that was a nice quiet night. Um, we're just going to make our way away from Fionport. Uh, before we do, we'll just come down to uh, the Iona Ferry. A little uh, look at the uh, abbey over there. We're in the village, roaming free. Some Highland Coo. Lovely, aren't they? in the village.
Right, so we're on the road to Calgary and uh, we're just going to stop off at the East Force waterfall. We've seen it on a few other videos, so uh, we will going uh, take a peek at it and a few photographs. Ah, East Force Waterfall. Hey, it's well worth the stop when you're driving down the road and you stop and you have a quick look. You're a bit underwhelmed, but walk down, follow it downhill, have a look, and it's quite impressive. So yeah, make sure you do stop. It's better than you imagine.
Well, that was a that was another nice day on Mull. Uh, the weather's turned a bit naff now. We're we're parked up at Loch and Keel, uh, just up the road from where we stopped for lunch. Actually, um, we, we, there's a few little parking spots on the lock. They're all on park for night, and uh, we've chosen the one um, towards the head of the lock for tonight. There's somebody else here. Um, but we did actually drive up to Calgary, to Calgary Bay, which which is a beautiful bay. There's no doubt about it. But the camping wasn't for us. The uh, really for our size of van. Um, there was the shop car park, which was full of cars at the time. So we hightailed it out of there. We thought it's going to be a bit busy. We hightailed it out of there, drove back down, down here, and now we're settled down. We've got the oven on. Chinese for tea tonight. Um, I'll show you outside in a few minutes and I'll put it on there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit windy. Okay. Yeah, we'll wait till the wind settles down. Um, and I'll put the what three words on the screen so uh, you can uh, make a note of it. What we did find, actually we did notice north of here, when, the further you go north, the less opportunities there are for decent wild camping or off grid. There's a place at the Ulver Ferry which is, uh, I think there's room for four motorhomes and that's official, you can stay there. Obviously Calgary Bay, but other than that, the road from Calgary across to Tobermory, we saw maybe four or five laybys or just off the road pullings you could use, but they didn't really appeal to us because um, we like to be near the water. So it's uh, back to Loch Nakeel and uh, hopefully it'll calm down a little bit and I'll show you outside. Uh, yeah, this is our park up for the night. We're, we've joined somebody else as well. So we're at the head of Loch Nakeel. And uh, yeah, the weather's a bit pants. Um, but yeah, it's a great spot. It's on park for night. And well, actually, if it's not on park for night, I'll put it on park for night. Um, and I'll certainly put the what three words where we are. So uh, yeah, good day today. Um, one golden eagle, maybe two. Could have been the same one twice, not sure. One hen harrier, um, oh, countless buzzard. So many buzzard, it's unbelievable. Sadly, no otter yet, but we're working on it. Tomorrow we'll have a, a good look for otter as well. So, uh, yeah, all in all, a good day on Mull. Um, weather's finished off a bit pants. We know it's gonna be wet tomorrow, but uh, we've known that for a few days. It, nothing, nothing could take away what this place is, it's, it's fantastic, absolutely. I'm just watching the, I'm just watching the clouds rolling over these hills. Let me, let me turn this round and show you. Right, we're going to turn it in now. Um, going to relax for a little while, settle down, have a little drink, maybe play a game of Scrabble, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. And we'll go on our search for otter. So, good night. All.